Hey, brat. All right. So. <laughs> Torch. Oh. Hello, Lily. Hello. Going to play with fire, are you? No, I just want to light the torch. You don't want that. No. Nope. You I know don't. that Mother Superior has forbidden it. Something weird was happening here. Yes. Mother Superior usually made her tea over the fire in the outside fireplace. There seemed to be some kind of breath. But Lily couldn't continue without more light. Okay. Why should Lily look for secret doors? She already knew of two other ways into Garrett's secret room. Why do we have to stand around here again? We're supposed to stop that child from escaping <laughs> therapy with violence, if possible. Do you still have your taser? Of course. <laughs> On the other hand, Garrett had rarely been wrong. Lily would try it his way. Okay, but I can't... I can't get fire. You must not contradict the doll. Okay. Oh, okay. Mother Superior is obviously gone gaga. I already suspected that. Now hurry. <laughs> Come to me in the secret room. There's a hidden door in the dark corner in front of the office. Right next to the fireplace outside. Yeah, I, I can see where it is, oh, but... Damn. Of course you can't make any light. You're not allowed to play with fire. I've completely forgotten about that. One moment. Let me think. Don't hurt yourself. Hmm. I think I have an idea. There isn't any way to break through a block created by hypnosis. Unless you get hypnotized again. It's risky, but you could put yourself in a trance and fight the block directly in your own subconscious. But be warned, the world inside of a trance is an eerie place. It's like a parallel universe that only exists in your mind. Traversing it without the guidance of a trained hypnotist has its dangers, and the blocks created by the doctor will probably appear as powerful demons that you can only defeat in a mental duel. Did you understand all that? Uh-uh. You don't have to. Not yet. Just use the stuffed rabbit to hypnotize yourself. Okay. Once you're in a trance, look for the inner demon that's preventing you from making a fire <laughs> and destroy him. Oh, okay. You must not play with fire. <laughs> oh. With the rabbit's help, Lily had returned into a trance. At first glance, everything had seemed unfamiliar and strange, completely alone. She cowered inside a cold cave that was illuminated by the giant, suspicious eyes <laughs> of Mother Superior. Okay. So there really wasn't much difference to reality. <laughs> okay. Ow! It's dust! My eyes burning! Who was that? Now I have a club. Lily would have liked to look around, but she didn't want to risk being seen by Mother Superior's giant eye. Oh. Okay. You mean this? Okay. Can I poke her in the eye? I wasn't close enough to shatter its retina to pieces with a club. 
Not that our Lily was entertaining such things. Oh, I know. I know. Let's, uh... Lily had never been closer to her goal of one day <laughs> playing with a pinata. What we'll do is we'll close the curtain. And beat the curtain with the rod. There we go. Dust, dust, dust. Mother Superior closed her tearing eyes. Oh. <laughs> for now. Off we go. Ah, my eyes burning. Lily had enough ribs. They were easy to count, but Mother Superior had forbidden it because it ruined her appetite. <laughs> said she should use the fire to make light. That seemed to be a good reason to her. But how was she ever going to convince the demon of this? Mm -hmm. Lily didn't want to seem picky, but that this was hardly the right place for a snowman. <laughs> Okay. Oh, the club. Oh, what's this? After dealing with the curtain, Mother Superior had apparently taken her contact lenses out. Strange. In the real world, Mother Superior wore glasses. But in the real world, Mother Superior <laughs> wasn't 50 feet tall either. So it was probably. I'm sure it's fine. It's fine. All right, I bet we can use that lens to direct some sunlight. Yeah. Oh, what is that? What's that strange smell? <laughs> it doesn't smell like carrots. That's for sure. No. Yes. That's... Not for long. Lily wasn't quite sure. She wasn't actually allowed to play with fire. Out the fire, mm. just like the snowman had told her to. <laughs> Hopefully, he now realized that there were quite appropriate situations where one could play with fire. Yeah, I'm glad he learned something today. Oh, now she's friends with the fire rabbit. Well, thank you. 
she can now get around the ban on playing with fire. All she has to do is cancel it in her new Don'ts menu by clicking on it with the left mouse button. Keep this option in mind. Throughout the game, Lily will learn to bypass many other restraints using this technique. But keep in mind that only one ban can be revoked at a time. Alrighty. Okay. Out we go. Come on, baby. Light my fire. What? Oh, I forgot to tell it. <laughs> the man just told me. <laughs> You don't want that. No, 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 no. <sighs> Something weird was happening here. Yes, the weird thing is that Angie wasn't paying attention. Ah. It is now okay. I can make fire if I want to. There we go. Poof. And then I can light this torch. With the help of the torch, Lily could finally inspect the mysterious bracket. Yeah. A surprise. <laughs> it was a torch bracket, but there was still no trace of the promised secret passage. It was true. A secret passage. Garrett was right once again. Secret tunnel. Lily, you did it. Yeah, I did. Oh, I think you're finally ready to know the truth. Oh, good. Well, where should I start? At the beginning. <laughs> That's a very fine place to start. You. Maybe I should introduce myself first. Of course you should. Chief Deputy Garrett Gordon Garden Gordon. I'm an undercover investigator. I took a position in the combat as a cover to observe Mother Superior. My assignment is to uncover evidence proving her educational methods violate youth protection laws. But Dr. Marcel is an even bigger fish to fry. Compared to him, Mother Superior is a saint. Lily could hardly believe what she was hearing, but now it all made sense. The secret room, the listening devices, and the strained voices she kept hearing at night. It was all coming together to form a coherent overall picture. <laughs> oh, it's exciting, isn't it? <laughs> all right. Let me finish. As I said, Dr. Marcel is a much bigger fish. The police has been after him for a while. The He's police has been after him. children of their childhood. And the hypnosis he subjected you to confirms this suspicion. Okay. Uh, 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 before you ask me any questions, let me quickly tell you one more thing about the hypnosis. This Harvey hypnosis is the doctor's devilish invention. He apparently uses this stuffed rabbit to force his will on you. If we want to get out of here, then you're going to have to fight the behavioral rules he's installed inside. <sighs> you can also take on the other behavior blocks, just like you did the one stopping you from playing with fire. But it means you'll have to put yourself back in a trance. The first challenge will be leaving the school grounds. Mother Superior has forbidden you from doing this. And because of the behavior block, you're incapable of being disobedient. The solution is to once again fight the block while you're in a trance. We have to tackle the problem at its source. Call. Call the police? Ha! Lily, I am the police. I can help you and get you to safety. We just have to get off the school ground somehow. I think the best way is to follow in your friend Edna's footsteps. But first, I've, I've got the yawns. Any questions you have. So? No questions? Uh-uh. How disappointing. Oh, well. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Let's go to the tree swing. To the tree swing. Away! All right. should have stayed in the treasure chest for all eternity as a symbol of friendship. Mm -hmm. But Lily was running out of options. Oh, <laughs> so she's taking it. Okay. Let's see. Oh, um. She'd look at the map later. She hadn't expected that this decision would have unpleasant consequences. 
Okay. Well, where am I going? There wasn't anything else for Lily to do at the convent. She wanted to follow Edna through the fence. Oh, through the f through the fence. <laughs> Hello, Lily. Hello. You're trying to leave the school grounds, are you? Yes. You know that Mother Superior has forbidden it. I don't care. You do know. You must not contradict the adults. It's possible to have lots of fun without defying the rules set by adults. You can <gasps> sort your marbles according to colors. Or come up with a counting rhyme for folding laundry. No matter how tempting the funny rabbit suggestions were, Lily had to get through the fence and find Edna. Okay. You must not contradict the dog. It wasn't even necessary. There are so many fun things that one is allowed to do. Like counting. Or playing with balls of wool. Well, how do I... There was that funny rabbit again. On the one hand, Lily was happy about the company. On the other hand, he wouldn't let her leave the school grounds. And Lily didn't see any strings for the hypnosis. She needed a better plan. Can I give him a string? What do you have there? Can I see it? Uh-huh. A ball of wool. Yippee! But that's... that's... <laughs> With the rabbit help, <gasps> Lily had returned into a trance. In the distance, she could see the giant Mother Superior stomping around in front of her cave. And over there, where in reality had been a huge gap in the fence, there was now a cobweb with a giant spider in the center. This had to be the second demon for her to defeat. Okay. What do we got? Didn't anyone ever tell you that you're not allowed to leave the school grounds? You must not contradict adults. But since you're such a good girl, you already know that. Mm. Lily did indeed know this, but Garrett had also told her that she was no longer safe here in the convent. Suddenly, adult rules seemed rather nonsensical to Lily. How could she convince the spider demon that even Mother Superior wasn't always right? Okay. Tar pit, pile of bones. Okay, I'm thinking, turn him into a unicorn. <laughs> Here we go. Lily was curious whether this would have any effect. When Lily saw how Mother Superior took the spider in her arms, her heart melted. Aww. Suddenly, Mother Superior no longer seemed so big and grown up. She emerged from her trance with a blissful smile on her lips. Oh, that's nice. Aww. Okay. Lily had overcome oh. her second behavioral block. Yep. She might still only have been able to ignore one rule, but it was better than nothing. Okay, so I gotta unrestrict that one. And now I can go through the fence. Boop. <gasps> Chapter 2 Edna's Hideout. It was already dusk when Lily set off down the convent hill. 
You're late. Where have you been all this time? Nanya. <laughs> Save it. Save it. There's a time for words and a time for action. <laughs> and there's a third time. The time for sitting at the police station and filling out forms. Okay. And that time has come. Uh-oh. What now? Ah, oh, don't say anything. You want your girlfriend. What's her name? Edna. Uh, uh Edna, right? Uh-huh. <sighs> I could tell right away that that girl meant overtime. <coughs> but if she's still alive, I'll probably have to take care of this too. Although I think it's much more likely that Dr. Marcel has already found her and used a wood chipper to turn her into Oh my. If that's the case, I'll find that out too. So don't worry about your little girlfriend anymore. <sighs> Why do I always have to be so damn compassionate? It's a curse. Wow. Wait here while I investigate a few things. I'll watch the path to the institution. Maybe I'll learn something that way. If I discover anything, I'll give you a signal. I'll make an owl call. Ooh. Ooh. Or something like that. You won't miss it. Wait here for me. I'm sure it will only take a few hours. Yeah, I'm gonna wait here. Lily was immensely relieved that Edna's fate was now in the hands of this exceptionally competent youth investigator. However, she would have liked to have shown him the map with the directions to Edna's hiding place. But Garrett had already disappeared. Lily risked a glance at the map. All right. She could see more lake from here. Edna's hiding place couldn't be that far. You're not planning on running into the moor after dark, are you? Mm-hmm. Don't you know how dangerous that is? <laughs> you must not hang around dangerous places. Oh. So many other nice places for children to visit. The Agricultural Museum, for example. Or the Job Information Center at the Employment Office. Lily was starting to think that the funny stuffed rabbit wasn't so funny after all. She stubbornly risked another look at the map. You must not hang around dangerous places. <laughs> uh, oh, uh, I'm sorry. I you will be. I didn't want to startle you. We're friends after all. Mm. Friends don't play pranks on each other. Okay. I can't go to the moor. I can go to the village instead. Lily arrived just in time to see the flying photography <laughs> tool disappear through a grilled window. Oh, bicycle. That must be the police car. I saw a hand. Uh, air pump. Take. It's a good thing they uh, didn't give me one that uh, you must not steal air pumps. <laughs> Pizza box. Chili pepper. Okay. Anything else? Take a peek. Can we look in here? The bar suggested that this was a lion cage. <laughs> All right. The map lay out of reach. Mm. Wah, what? Oh, oh, just a little girl. What are you doing out here in the middle of the night? It looks are like the tutorial guy. The will catch you? Uh -uh. <clears throat> well, you should be. So hurry, get back to bed. Or did you want to make a complaint? Uh-huh. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh, this had to happen someday. And who do you want to make a complaint about, if I may ask? You don't mean Dr. Marcel, do you? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Shh, keep it down. The doctor is a very influential man. We all know he's got a few things to answer for. But 
You still have to be very careful with accusations like that. Unless you have evidence, I really can't help you. Hmm. You again? Do you want to make another complaint? Uh-huh. Oh boy, oh boy. Uh, and who do you- Me! You don't mean yourself, do you? Uh-huh. <laughs> Please. What terrible things could a little girl like you have done? Children your age can't even be charged with a crime. The only reason to lock up a young kid like you would be to sober you up. But I'm sure a girl who looks as well behaved as you already knows to stay away from alcohol, right? Uh-huh. You see? Of course, if you insist, you can take a voluntary alcohol test anyway. The machine is over there, against the wall. But I can't arrest you if you haven't gone and drunk nothing. <laughs> if you ain't gone and drunk nothing, I ain't gonna arrest you for... Oh, wine gums. Value. Anything else? Oh, a pen. Thanks. All right. The wine gums looked tasty. Mm -hmm. Lily took that as a sign that she wasn't allowed any. <laughs> All right. Well, let's go to the bar. Oh, what do we have here? A little girl without parents, all alone in the night. How sweet. What brings <laughs> you into this dark dive where no one can hear you scream? Alcohol. I can't serve children alcohol. I'm missing the recipe for the only alcoholic cocktail on the menu. The Volcano Berserker. Plus, I ran out of the ingredients. So, if you want a drink, you'll have to get me the right ingredients. And then, the drinks will be free. Here. The menu. Okay. A neon drink. Volcano. Oh, Volcano Berserker. They didn't remove the ingredients. Puffer fish and Valium. Okay. Have you got all the ingredients? Uh -uh. No? Then I can't help you, sweetie. <laughs> Can you hear the theme song in the background? It's not in English now. To use the machine, you needed small change and a comfortable relationship with Salmonella. <laughs> To use the machine and a comfortable. Lily had also received a box like this after her father had been lost at sea. It probably took the Association for the Relief of Dead Seafarers a long time to collect this. Okay, now let's see. Cemetery. Wait. No! This isn't Aunt Gorgula. My name is Miranya. Miranya the medium. How many more times do I have to tell you? What? But that's... One moment. Please stay on the line. Sorry, little girl. This could take a moment. It's that bartender, Max Mixo, again. A real pain in the ass. 
so dead and yet so talkative. Come to think of it, the spirits are very unsettled today. They're all talking over each other. If uh, la, la, la. earplugs. What was that? Now listen to me, my dear lady. I'm not a greeting cards courier. I'm sure that... Next Mixer, would you please shut up for a moment? Because there are others who... <laughs> no, I don't know anyone called Priscilla. Maradria was busy. Lily could completely understand that. She knew how hard it was to ignore spirits. Especially those that tried to grab you at night. Egad. Okay, John G. Well, I think we're gonna hold on here, and uh, next time we will help this poor medium find some earplugs. <laughs> All right, see you later, Brad.